All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, decoy detonator toy from Wizarding World of Harry Potter and uh, Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. I do not know if you can get this toy at any other um, Harry Potter themed uh, park or attraction. Um, so I definitely had to pick one up while I was there because it's obviously cheaper to get most things in store than online because people obviously buy it online and then scalp it to uh, make a profit margin. I mean, that's just capitalism and business for you. Why don't you? So first and foremost, got to take a sip of my homemade pumpkin juice. Let's dive into it. So you may remember these things because they... Um, released a whole bunch of them into the wilderness of the Ministry of Magic to create a distraction. So a decoy. Um, they make a lot of bells and whistles and sounds in the movie. I'm not sure what to expect from this, actually. All I know is it was one of my favorite movies and or favorite moments in that movie, which I otherwise actually didn't care for as much as the other ones. So I'm sorry to those who really enjoyed Probably because of Umbridge. Let's just say it's because of Umbridge. So, you see, attention, this is not a toy. Stock number 2063. Down there it says, Weasley's, Wizard Weezes, Diagon Alley, London. And then there's production number. So they, like, really went all out with making this look like it came from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, when I review the Skyving Snack Box, not so much. There's nutrition facts on the back of it, but I mean, they kind of have to. You don't really need nutrition facts for a toy, now do you? So it is an astounding magical cacophony. Um, this is the only part of it that's like based in our world, I guess you could say. Um, so it's distributed by a Warner Bros. Studio tour in Livesden. So um, I guess it, it does exist overseas. I just didn't see it when I lived over there. Um, Harry Potter characters, they're branded as distributed through Universal Parks and Resorts. So it looks like there might only be two places in the whole wide world that you can go and get this. Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. It's just giving you some information about this. And so to replace the batteries, ask an adult to help you unscrew the battery cover, remove old batteries, replace the batteries, and uh, insert them, and so on and so forth. And that's what the final product's going to look like, I suppose. Um, to say the least, I kind of wish that it had the symbols on top because I'm a drummer, so I'm very partial to, um, symbols and stuff. But anyhow, um, let's crack this puppy open and, uh, see what we've got inside. So, is that gonna work? Is it safe anywhere else? No, it's not. Okay, so it comes in this... Adorable little packaging. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. That is adorable. So let's open her up. And how does this puppy work? Okay. So I'm not really seeing where one would replace the batteries at. Unless it's... Um, one of these parts that you have to unscrew. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like you actually would crank it up and there's a pull tab here. So let's get rid of that, of course. That's cute. How does it make noise? Does it have to crash into something to make a noise? Let's try and find out. Uh. Nope. That's so cute. That's not a very impressive sound effect, but let's send it after my poor cat. She is so confused. Uh, 
that's probably about the reaction I would have to it as well. So, what about the other cat? Is he amused? <laughs> so, <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> Cats love it. Children cry at it. <laughs> it's the decoy detonator from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, only at, and you can still see the price tag on it there, $18.95. I think it's like 30 bucks online, but there you go. Um, distributed by uh, Weasley's, uh, Weasley and Weasley uh, for their uh, Wizarding Wheezes. And um, yeah, only at um, Warner Bros. Studio Tour London and Universal Parks and Resorts. Go get yours today.